What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp plugin tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about using the extension Flowify to bend objects along a curving face. Before I get started I do want to take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon. Patreon as you know is the website where you can uh, support the show, support creators that you like on YouTube. Um, so. If you go on there, you can contribute, you get different rewards, like uh, for example, you can vote on my extensions that I'm going to cover every week. I also have a level where you can download all the models that I create, um, depending on your support level, that sort of thing. So if you're interested in supporting the show, make sure you go check out that link in the notes below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so I've talked about this extension before, but it's basically an extension that allows you to a to bend geometry along kind of an organic shape or a shape that you create. And so um, I, I think it's one of the more misunderstood extensions in that uh, a lot of people think that it doesn't work or they can't figure out how to get it to work. It has a very specific process that you have to follow in order to make it work. So uh, let's kind of go through this and then uh, as we go I'll explain what you need to do and uh, how you need to do it. So the first thing we're going to do, and there's kind of a five step process to follow when working with Flowify. So the first step is you need to come in and you need to model out your geometry or your target geometry. So the face that you want to bend your object along. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a target face right here. And this is just to give me kind of a canvas to draw on. And then I'm just going to draw a series of curves. along this face and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use push-pull to kind of extrude this out so that I've got this curving face and then I'm gonna delete out all of my bottom geometry because really the only geometry that I'm interested in is the geometry that's this face up above and I'm also gonna hide these lines so I'm just gonna hold the shift key and dra drag the eraser key along them in order to hide these lines so now I have a target face so in this case what this is gonna be is this is gonna be the this is gonna be the object that I want to bend my to bend my other geometry along and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this geometry up and you could also model this straight up and down. In fact, let's just leave it as is for right now. So step one of Flowify is you model your target geometry and then you put it in a group. And putting it in a group is very important. I'm going to go ahead and delete out my default model. So you're going to take this and you're going to put it in a group. So that's very important. And actually I find if you uh, actually label these groups in your outliner, then it makes it a lot easier. So in this case, I'm going to call this target geometry. So that's step one. Step two is you need a pair of lines that run to another face. So what we're doing is we're basically drawing a pair of lines that are going to go up to our other face, which is our base face. And we're basically going to tell Flowify, okay, take things on this top face and bend it along this bottom face. So once you create these two lines, you want to go ahead and select those and put them in their own group too. So step two, we'll call these target lines. And then step three is you're going to model out your base face. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to model basically just a rectangle along here so this is the face that you're saying anything drawn on this face we want you to take that geometry and bend it along this other face so you're just going to double click on that and you're going to make that a group so that's step three is base face okay and then step four which is also very important is you want to take all of that and put it in its own group so what you should see in your outliner is you should see th three groups, one with your base, one with your target geometry, and one with your target lines touching the corners. And the way to check to make sure everything is working is once you've taken all three of these groups and put them in their own group, you want to go up to Extensions, Flowify, and click Impose Grid. And if you did this right, what it's going to do is it's going to break this up into a whole bunch of different faces. So that's basically saying each one of these, it's going to take this and bend it along this curve in order to create your geometry. So now we'll do something very simple just as kind of a test. So I always find it's helpful once I've done this to draw kind of a canvas face up here. So just a face that you can draw on top of and then hide this group. 
because now I know anything that I model on top of this is what's going to get bent down here. So now I know this is kind of the size that I have to work with. And so what I can do is I can just come in here and I can create a bunch of different random geometry just as kind of a test. And we may try something different in a minute. But for now, we're just going to draw out this random geometry. And we're going to push pull a lot of that up and down. So now that I have this geometry, and the other thing you want to do is you want to reverse these faces so the white face is up, otherwise you get some kind of weird results. So make sure that the same white face is facing up both in your target geometry and also in your, um, in your geometry that you draw here. So whatever side this white face is here, you want that to be up on the other side as well, otherwise it's going to take this and it's going to try to bend it along this other side. So now... I'm just going to kind of randomly push pull each one of these to a certain height. And if you want, you can come in here and you can erase out a bunch of this extra geometry. So, and really that's a good idea because otherwise any of this leftover stuff is also going to get bent and it's going to make your model look kind of strange. So go ahead and erase out your extra geometry as much as you can and then you're going to take this and you're going to make that a group. And so the way Flowify works is now that's your, that's your last step as you've modeled out your geometry that you want to bend. Well now you need to select these two groups. So you should have two groups selected. And so basically you're telling Flowify your group with three objects in it is what you want to use to show what to bend. And then this other group is your geometry that you actually want to bend along here. And so then all you do is you just go to Extensions, Flowify, and you click Flowify. And you can see what that does is that comes in here and that actually bends all of this geometry along this face. And you do have a bunch of hidden geometry in here. The thing you can do about this, first of all, you can go in here and you can hide this stuff. I like to keep it in case I want to go back in and remodel things. But what you can do is you can come in here and inside your model, you can use the Soften Edges tool in SketchUp. And you can just drag this little slider. And you can see how when I drag my slider, what it does is it's taking the lines that are in there and it's kind of hiding them. So if you drag it all the way to the right, what it's going to do is it's going to like soften everything. And I don't really like that because it basically turns everything into hidden geometry and it also smooths these faces together. So I don't find them very distinctive. And so what I like to do instead is I like to drag this. I like to kind of find the point where most of the geometry on these faces goes away, but then the edges are still in here as non-hidden geometry because now it really kind of details out and shows the way that uh, the way that these different faces are kind of distinct from each other. And so you can see how I, I did this with this kind of random geometry in here. And I'm going to move that off to the side. And we're going to go back in and we're going to do something with a little bit more pattern to it. So, so that was kind of my example geometry and I'll move that off to the side as well and we're just going to do something different. So now we're going to come in here and we're going to model something with more like repeating components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this face and I'm going to use it to model out a series of components that I want to bend along this face. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on this line and I'm going to click divide. And I'll divide each one of these lines up into about five. Segments and then I'm going to draw a rectangle along these segments and I'm going to create a component and when I make a component And it doesn't really matter what we call it now if we repeat that component over and over again And I'm using the move tool in copy mode by the way, so I'm clicking on this face I'm tapping the M key and I'm clicking on this corner then I'm tapping the control key to make a copy instead of move this geometry. Then I'm going to click on this corner and I'm going to type times 4 and hit the enter key. And so what that did is that made four copies along that edge. And now I'm going to do the same thing by selecting all of these components using the move tool in copy mode. And I'm going to type in times 4 again and hit the enter key. And you can see 
how these are all going to react the same when I push pull them because they're all copies with the same component. Well, what we can do now is we're going to come in here and we're going to draw a series of circles in order to kind of round off our geometry and then we're going to erase them out. So you can see how when I erase that out, what that's leaving is that's leaving these corners just as kind of round edges. And you got a little leftover geometry in here that you can erase back out. Actually, no, don't do that. You can actually erase this whole face out now. And you can also erase out this kind of leftover geometry. Well, now I'm going to come in here and I'm also going to model a circle in the center. And you can see how the component functionality is making this really easy. So I can make this kind of like, like a, almost like a patterned metal type thing. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put all of that in a group. So I'm just going to right select everything, right click on it and make it a group. And what I'm going to show you real quick is if you try to do this right now the same way where you select your group and then you select your other group and you try to do flowify it's going to give you an error message so and the reason it's going to give you an error message is because you can only have raw faces inside your group of geometry here and you can see how when i click in here each one of these is actually a component so they're not really raw faces and so what we need to do is we need to select all of those right click and you want to explode them and make sure that you've modeled everything the way you want it to go before you do that because um, once you explode this you're not going to have that component functionality in here so changes are a lot harder to make so go ahead and explode out your components and now you can see when I click on these it's all raw faces which is what Flowify wants so now I can take the object that I want to bend and I can select my Flowify group that I selected earlier just go to extensions Flowify Flowify and it's going to take a second because this is a fair amount of geometry that it has to kind of bend along here But you can see how now it took that It took that kind of a repeating pattern and it bent it along this face and now we can do the same thing where we hide these We go into this model right here and you may have to erase some stuff out. This isn't always perfect so you may have to do a little bit of cleanup on some of this stuff. The more complex you get, probably the more cleanup you're going to have to do. All right, so now we'll do the same thing where we just kind of click inside this object and select everything. And then we'll just use the soften edges tool to get rid of all that extra geometry or to hide all of that extra geometry. So now you can take this and you can kind of do whatever you want with it. You can place it, you can do, you, you can use this to create more and more complex shapes depending on what you want to create. That's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Uh, did I explain it well enough for you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.